Let's make a video about COVID-19. Why not? <laughs> Hello there. So, as you can see, the title is about the COVID-19 again. And it's uh, so fiction and non-fiction. So I'm going to talk about what it is, what it is not. Um, basically, this is going to be a very short video. Uh, first, I'm going to put some details here on the whiteboard. Then we're going to jump on the computer later on uh, because of the pictures that I want to show you and the graphs, the charts. And then let's discuss what we can do about it. So, fiction and non-fiction. Let's get cracking. <laughs> so, first, what is it? What is it, this COVID-19? Second question, is it even alive? So, what is it, is it even alive? And straight answers to it, and by the way, I, um, all the credits to the, to the Greg that uh, made the presentation, live presentation about the COVID-19, uh, all credits to him because I learned all this stuff from him in uh, two or three presentations, live presentations that he made uh, in a few, uh, a few days ago. So credits to the Greg. Uh, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description as well so you can find the same things that I found. And yeah, so let's go through this. What is it? Is it even alive? And he points out really that uh, it's very simple. Um, it's not alive. Uh, the virus, by its definition, it's not even alive. Virus itself is not even alive. Uh, bacteria, it's already different, but virus, by definition, they are not alive. They're just sitting on a surface, you know, that's all. They're just sitting and chilling on the surface. And uh, some of the questions he discussed in a, in a presentation, he said, uh, Gregor said, uh, Greg said that um, basically it's not in a, even the hunter because virus by definition, he's sitting on the surface and chilling. That's all what he's doing. So COVID-19 by definition is not even alive. And some people ask the questions whether it's hunting me, does this COVID-19 uh, hunt me, you know, try to trying to catch me to, you know, it's not, it's not uh, actively looking for the, for the, for the victim, so to say. I wrote it here, something like this, so it's not actively looking for blood, like a vampire. So it's not the vampire doesn't looking for you like all the time and chasing you, you know, and you're like kind of running away from it. It's not like that. So we're going to jump later on the computer here. Let's discuss some first details. How does it look like? Uh, you will see in the picture way better than here. This is just uh, some some sort of my art uh, drawings. So <laughs> you will see here. Basically, this is the picture of the COVID nineteen. This one here, the red one, and this is the human cell. So as you follow later on to these three steps, as I explain what is happening uh, in our bodies when the COVID nineteen is. Uh, um, in our bodies, so to say. Um, so the red is COVID-19, the blue is uh, human cell for the rest of these three steps. So this is the COVID-19. It looks like uh, it has a huge, as you can see it here, up here, it's written spikes. And these spikes here, these receptors, uh, basically, let's do that. so these receptors here, uh, these spikes are basically, yeah, as I said, receptors, and that's the, that's the, uh, actually the biggest uh, issue here with this virus because um, it makes it easier to, to attach and to attack the human body because of these spikes, because of the receptors, as you can see it here, like uh, all around it has the receptors. You will see the better picture of this one, this is just for now. So. If they were not here, this these spikes, as you can see, it, if they were not here, uh, it will be basically nothing will happen. 
they will just flow through the body, body will do just uh, the process of the cleaning probably and that will be all. Uh, but in this case, your, by the way, your body has all the time the viruses, different viruses, and they're not impacting and changing something dramatic in your body, they're just living there as a bacteria as well. Uh, but in this case, it's, it's different because of the spikes. So let's go to the second step here. So this is the first human cell, COVID-19. Here you will see it different a bit. So basically what I did here, this is a, basically a picture, big picture. And this upper part, as you can see it here, this one here, this is uh, just a uh, very zoomed in, very, very zoomed in uh, COVID-19 cell. I can make it now like this. So you'll understand better. So this is the COVID-19 upstairs, upper part above. And this spike here from the COVID-19 is basically, um, it makes it easier to attach that this is a human cell here down. So this blue here, this is the, the human cell very zoomed in and it makes it basically easier to attach to the human cell because of these spikes. And as you can see it here, um, what is happening once attached? So what is the procedure later on after that? What is happening? So once attached, it's, I wrote it here like to make it a bit fun of it, but it's, that's what is happening. If you look like just your, uh, if you look at just your phone, you know, basically you plug it in, you know, everything is like uh, based on the sex. So <laughs> once attached, it's like sex, it starts to share information to human cell. So as you can see it here, this part, COVID-19, this part, human cell. And once attached, it starts sharing information, DNA and what else, I'm not sure what exactly, but it starts basically sharing information uh, into the human cell like this direction, inside, it starts sharing like this. It goes down through these receptors. And our cell um, signalized that, that there is a threat, something is happening, but uh, the COVID-19 cell, it needs, like the virus cell needs, um, basically, our cell in order to uh, reproduce itself. To make the copies of the same of the of the same, and here you can see it. I brought it even down. So a cell starts making copies of the virus, our cell, human cell, and basically it does so uh, until it explodes, until it kills the human cell and spread the the viral information uh, to the body. And our bodies are very smart. It's a very, very, very complex system. Um, we are still trying to figure out how it works, everything. But it's a very, very complex thing. And the immune system is just... Immune system is very, very complex thing. There's a first, the first wall, there is a second wall, and there are so many in between as well. <clears throat> so, once this happened, once the, once the, the human cell explodes uh, with the full of copies of the virus, so what is happening? Uh, next step and the last one here for this part. Um, so this is the battle. I even put the title here. This is the battle. This is real, real fight. So <laughs> what is happening later on? Body identifies a virus and send uh, send out help. And as I, as I wrote here again, like your body is smart system and knows what to do, and it's true. And what is happening when once the body identify what is happening, uh, body basically sends some cells to attach on the COVID-19, on the virus itself. And this is, you can see it here, this, this green here, this green here is uh, leukocytes. That's the name, this one here, that's the name of the of the cell, of the cells that the body sends, the body sent to to basically recover, to to get away from this. To um, that's the basically immune response. 
and it's your written special cell to attach to the virus in order to kill virus. So this is what is happening here, this green part, this is the COVID-19 in the middle and this is uh, the green part is basically this uh, leukocytes uh, cell that is attached on it in order to protect and to prevent from the uh, further spreading of the virus in the body. And everything is uh, uh, everything has to do with your immune system. I will talk about it later on in detail. You'll be surprised some facts that I'll share with you and what you can do about it. So this is for right now. We will jump on the computer. So now we are on the computer and what I was wanted like wanted to share back there with you on the whiteboard is a COVID-19 cell. So very like uh, zoomed in. Uh, now you can see it better in a like very very detailed how that looks like the drawing from the from the whiteboard. So as you can see it here, this is the virus itself, the white part, and this uh, red parts as I draw on the whiteboard. Those are the receptors. This here, this is the receptor, and basically that's the the whole difference that this this virus uh, makes because if they were not here this red parts as I said it will be impossible for the virus to attach to the, to the human cell so that makes all the difference now you can see it way better now you you, you know m much more than uh, just uh, as you were seeing before like uh, the pictures of the virus itself so this is what I wanted to share with you and the second one so we'll go now uh, to the death rates uh, by age. So this is another graph of the chart. And by the way, you will see, uh, you can find all this data. I will put the source, the link uh, where I found all these uh, charts and informations. So it will be in the description, so you can click on it and you can go there by yourself and see the same things and even more, more of it. Very important thing what I wanted to share when it comes to this virus is that uh, as you can see it, COVID-19 uh, death rate by age and you can see it here on the left side is percentage and here down is the age you can, as you can see it here in the middle and this is the source uh, Chinese Center of Disease Control and Prevention and this is from the Business Insider you will see the link is also business, from Business Insider in description below so what I wanted to share with you here is a very important thing and that is basically as you can see it here that rates so that rates by age uh, from 0 till 9 uh, none of them died zip you know like no none you know like <laughs> no number of the dead because why is that because the younger kids and babies, uh, uh, so from zero till nine, in this age group, people are having a very people, kids and babies, so to say, they're having very strong immune system. As I mentioned before, immune system is very uh, is a crucial part in this this uh, this whole topic. And I'll talk about it a bit later, what, what can you do about it, we'll jump uh, back to the whiteboard uh, for more details about it. And as you can see it here, this is the from 10 till 19, from 20 to 29, and so on and so on. As you can see, it, the, usually the body, uh, the older it gets, uh, kind of if you don't take care of yourself on uh, each level, not just the physical and what you're taking in, the food, what I mean by, uh, by the mental and uh, the emotional and so on and so on. Uh, on the all levels, if you take care of yourself, uh, this, this chart doesn't have to be like this. But usually, on the average person, this is, this is a, a kind of true because as you're getting older, the immune system kind of uh, starts to, to be uh, less effective and kind of it's going to, to that direction to decline a little bit in, in the in the some percentages during the uh, aging. As you can see it here, 0.4% uh, is for people that are in a group of uh, 40 till 49. 
so 40 to 50 so to say and as you can see it here the older uh, people are the more that rates are as well so that's very important to understand I'll share some facts later on the whiteboard about it as well and another one the, the last uh, picture here uh, is comparison basically COVID-19 compared to other common uh, conditions and as you can see it here so basically symptoms are here this is the COVID-19 common cold, flu, allergies and what are the common symptoms for the COVID-19 as you can see it here the people are scared when someone uh, is sneezing you know and here sneezing is like uh, COVID-19 no it's not something that is a symptom of it and a runny nose rare diarrhea rare and so on as you can see compare this one to others so this is for the for the computer part so we we'll go back to the whiteboard again and we are back to the whiteboard and I said I'll talk about a uh, few other facts so you will see them now we will start uh, by uh, transmission, how you uh, transfer this to someone else this COVID-19 um, so basically transmission physical droplets when I say physical droplets that uh, includes uh, following things such as physical contact we probably already heard it's uh, shaking hands when someone is already has it and it knows or doesn't know and then it's easy to transfer to another person by shaking the hands we are very touchy people touching is uh, in our nature so basically that's part of us so that's kind of okay in some way you, you want to prevent yourself from spreading further the, the, further the, the virus and we'll get back to the touch uh, in some other details here so another thing is airborne droplets uh, airborne droplets are when someone is sneezing, when someone is coughing <coughs> through the, this uh, droplets uh, you can uh, transfer to another person that is next to you and uh, by coughing or sneezing, right? And by the droplets. So basically, when you when you sneeze, there are lots of droplets that you cannot even see. Some of them you can see, some of them you cannot. And virus can be inside of these uh, droplets as well. So that's why people are scared when someone is sneezing or coughing. But it doesn't have to be anything if the, that person is not infected. But it's important. It's important to know. I really encourage to do like when you're coughing or sneezing, like you you do it, like you cover yourself up. <sighs> breathing. Here is the third part, third point. Breathing. Uh, that's why social distance. That's why this isolation, quarantine, and so on. Because when someone is breathing, that has it. I, it doesn't have to be aware. The person doesn't have to be aware of it that it has it but when you are next to the person that is like in a, like in a closed space like uh, having a party or something uh, there are many people and breathing is happening you know and then basically the person that has it by breathing next to the person like uh, in a very close distance that doesn't have it can transfer through the air through breathing so that's very important to understand and one thing I wanted to say to you to uh, understand what is going on, how this works uh, so to put some facts on it uh, basically when oh, again talking about the clothes space as at home, the market, the shops, etc when someone was there and uh, coughed or sneezed uh, basically that droplets can be in the air for up to th uh, two or three hours so someone uh, uh, coughed or sneezed in a, in a room 
and you come two hours later on, three hours later on, and where the person was sneezing or coughing, you come in that space, you can get as well affected by that. It can, it can be transmitted as well. So that's why it's important to, to a bit, uh, you know, uh, invent a different lifestyle, so to say. Um, so that's that part. And again about the droplets, um, so on the surfaces, basically surface droplets up to two, two or three days. Stainless steel and plastic, so stainless steel and plastic uh, droplets can stay up to two or three hours on the, on the, on the surfaces as, as, as it uh, uh, stainless steel and plastic. So that's why important to to know this because it can it always it's different depending on the temperature depending on the environment is the place open or closed it can it doesn't have to be two or three days but that's kind of like uh, what they found out till now what they, what can what they found to be true uh, till this point about uh, when it's uh, when it comes to the surface again viruses chilling there doesn't do anything but if you touch that, like uh, under that kind of surfaces, and then you don't wash your hands, basically you can you have it on your on your fingertips, and then if you don't wash it, then they'll be here. But they don't do anything when they're on a the surface. They're chilling there, having a good time, and they don't do anything, and they eventually die after two or three days. Again, this is not uh, my my discovery. I have learned all this stuff from the Greg which I'll put the link, as I said, in the description, so you can find the same presentation and even more of uh, this man, so you can learn a lot from him, from life. Not just about this, he's also a scientist, but he's having some backgrounds in, uh, in what is uh, the agriculture, not, not agriculture, but I cannot remember now, the, the science that is, uh, maybe probably will know better than me, the science that uh, studies basically the earth. So... That's this part. Uh, so let's talk about now what you can do about it. So here's protection, this part. So I divide kind of into protection. I guess you're doing already that and washing the hands. It's important to be a bit just aware, more aware of what you're, what you're touching. And after touching the things, do you touch yourself as well? Do you, do you put the fingers in your mouth and that kind of stuff? Um, that's kind of helpful to be aware of what you're touching. Um, washing hands, I, I hope you do that already, if not then... <laughs> so, second part here, very important, this one. Antibiotics will not work because the virus is not alive. Let me say that again. Antibiotics will not work because the virus is not alive. There is nothing to kill because the virus, by definition, it's not alive. It's not a living thing. I already said that cover for a cough or a sneeze. I already said that. <clears throat> so what can you do about it? Um, like prevention um, and protection. Boost immune system. Boosting immune system is uh, the crucial part now. Some of the things you will know, some of the things you will not know. Uh, for some things I will talk in, a, in a later videos, I'll, I sh I'm sure I will make some other videos as well about this topic. Uh, boosting immune system. <clears throat> what is important for the good health? Let, let's talk about a few things, few facts. So good sleep, 8 or 9 hours. Your body needs to recover, your body is recovering while you are sleeping. And if you give yourself, if you give your body to recover, like to sleep 8 to 9 hours, that's very, very good because immune response, digestion, uh, blood circulation, lots of things are uh, very important to function properly in order to, uh, for the immune system to be in a full function. Uh, exercise. Uh, doesn't have to be anything like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger type or something that kind of exercise, but it has to be uh, like at least uh, a block in nature. Uh, floor exercises that I'm doing a lot uh, at home, for example, yoga and that kind of stuff. Whatever you find fancy, whatever you feel is good to you, do it. 
And this part is a bit interesting because I didn't know these things as well. I was kind of shocked and surprised and uh, excited when I saw this stuff. So let's talk about a bit about the food. I was also not in the food at all. Like if you uh, examine my life like uh, five or seven years ago, it wasn't like that at all. <clears throat> but as you going more down the, the rabbit hole, you, you realized you realize there are some things there as well, you know, so <laughs> one of them is now it's very important uh, vitamin C. This sounds like I'm the, the teacher to the kids or something like that, but basically vitamin C is very important, but more important is the source of the vitamin C, the source of the food that you're taking. It's not the same protein when you're buying from the supplements from this box of 50 kilograms or when you're taking the, another source of the protein. It's a different story, totally different story. Source is all that is important. Vitamin C, I will talk, uh, I'll make uh, another video because I see it's very important right now. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't planning to do this videos, even this one right now, but I'll make some videos for like preparing yourself to boost your immune system maximally for, uh, to the max for, um, for different levels. So I'll make uh, some other videos about boosting your immune system. What can you do about it? Where is the vitamin C? I'll talk about as well what I'm drinking, what I'm doing to, to stay uh, well uh, in this uh, situation, this period. This is the zinc. It's very important, especially if you hear a broad, like kind of, if you have symptoms, if you already have some symptoms, uh, I'll put some small video which you, can, you will see it now uh, just to laugh a bit so like panic is a bit uh, dominating this planet right now and fear especially fear we talk about the fear uh, false evidence appearing real anyway zinc if you have symptoms zinc is very good as well to take it in if you're gonna go to the crowd or if you have already symptoms. Uh, zinc, uh, I'll mention in, in the next video where it is, the, the, the right source of the zinc, where you can find it. <clears throat> uh, this, is, this part now that is coming is a bit more different and I didn't know, I didn't try it, I cannot say it's 100% awesome, but you can take uh, analysis about it and see what other people are taking that are taking the same thing. I'll talk about the mushrooms here. So, anti-viral mushrooms. Anti-viral mushroom. So, viral information. Anti-viral mushrooms. So, basically, mushrooms for, for the virus, so to say. So, I, I'm not sure if I will spell it right, but uh, it will be written down in the description anyway, so you will just can copy and paste in Google and you will find it. So. Reishi mushroom, I think that's uh, the correct how you spell it. But basically this is what is written, this here, there's a number one here. And it's kind of quote, you can see quote here, quote here, beginning and the end of quote. And this is basically written on, uh, on, the, on the product itself, on the, on the mushroom itself. On the label, so to say. So, what is written on the label of these two mushrooms? Uh, reishi components directly bind to the viruses. So components of the mushrooms are di directly binding on the on the on the viruses on the viral information. And if you just remember before this, the first part on the whiteboard, I was talking about uh, leukocytes cell that is attaching to the viral cell to the virus. So this is the same thing what the, the mushroom is doing it, but is giving your body even more components to do the same thing, to do it faster and better. Second mushroom, I can, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to spell it right, but, you know, I'll, as I said in the description. Agricon mushroom. So this one, this is the second one and I think this one is even stronger than the first one. And this is also written on the label, this is the quote here, you can see it quote, quote, and basically this is written as well on the label as I said and it says it is not only a strong anti-inflammatory 
and antibacterial agent, its extracts have also demonstrated antiviral properties. So this second one, it has antiviral properties. So for the viral information in your body. So basically it's the same, doing the same as the first one, but it, I think it's even uh, more effective. So if you, even if you get this virus, it's not uh, the end of the world. And if you just go a bit deeper in this topic and you discover what is true, this whole thing is a joke. You can say, you can see, go to the Twitter of the Elon Musk, you will see what he is thinking about it. For, th for him, this thing is dumb, it's really dumb. But I'm saying from my perspective, from my opinion, when you do the research, this whole thing is a joke. It's a big joke. That's my opinion. We covered this one. Uh, there will be a lot of lots of other videos about this as well, since I have more time, which is the good thing. Um, some other things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so I will, I will keep it short, like this is already 15 minutes and I see another other videos are there as well. So this will take a bit longer than I, than I thought. But uh, I wanted to share, I think it's important to share with you this information, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this. And I wanted here, there's a, here another part. Here, wait a second, like this. So, to be a bit closer. Alright, so. I wanted to, to, to share with you something that I accidentally found. There are no accidents in this life. There is a cause and there is a fact, and that's how all how it works. This virus it is basically there is a there will be there was a cause and there's a effect, there is a result. I mean that's how it works. So let's talk about there's a like it's forbidden to come to the like there's a social distance, right? I think it's very important to respect it. I we just covered it. Why now you're suddenly an expert uh, of the of this virus? Um, but I wanted to say something to you that it doesn't have to be in your subconscious mind that uh, subconscious behavior to don't uh, to don't talk to the people, to don't say hi, to don't uh, recognize your your neighbor or something like that. It's more than ever important to to make the community communities and to talk with people and to share the things all the time, constantly. Even if it's uh, on the Skype, even if it's on the on other platforms, doesn't matter, it's very important. Um, talking about the touch, there is a movie, I'll put, put it down in the description so you can enjoy these days while you're staying at home. Uh, there is a movie called The Giver, someone who gives, The Giver. It was 2013, I think, I wrote it here. And basically here I wrote touch and injection. Why the touch and injection? You, you can see it in a movie, of course. But you will see now some inserts. Uh, I'll, I just cut the, the video so you will see the movie, so you will see it on the screen. So, first thing on a, for the touch, you will see it here. If you, if you find the movie, if you uh, rent it or buy it, or it doesn't matter. So, on the 30 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 seconds, I'll put the time, timing as well in the description so you'll find it. So 30, uh, 30 minutes uh, and 16 seconds, that's for the, for the touching, which you'll see it uh, right now. I think your training may be a bit more fun than Please mine. Please stand by for a community announcement. Citizens are reminded that it is impolite to touch community members outside your family unit. Thank you. I mean, touching is important, but uh, just to give you an idea, now it's important to kind of like stay a distance in some ways to prevent, you know, yourself from spreading this thing. But just uh, one idea about a touch. And what happens to the baby that, uh, that is not uh, nourished, that is not uh, taken care of uh, as much and didn't have the touch of the mother? Usually it happens that the baby is uh, less developed in some ways 
than the other babies that they were having uh, the constant touch and constant contact with the mother. And at all, it doesn't matter whether mother or father, but both. At all, touch in general. So that's why this movie. Um, second thing is here, um, which you'll find it another, another part in the, in the, in the uh, so to say, another section of the movie is about injection. And what I know till now, they want to uh, force to push the injections that are uh, for the virus. Uh, that are full of mercury, but anyway, they say it's good for you. So uh, that's why this uh, video, that's why this uh, this movie, and you will see it now. What is happening uh, with uh, the kind of to give you an idea about injection. So here we go. Something lives deep inside you. Something those morning injections take away. Interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> so, and one one movie that really will give you will open up uh, because I have a feeling like the movies that are made earlier they're kind of different. They're slower. The things are more uh, raw and so on and so on. So, there's another option for you for watching the movie, and that is this one, Coming to America. Coming to America, it's uh, from the 88, I think, yeah. And what can you do about it as well, like uh, boosting immune system, right? It's uh, more important than ever. You can watch funny, funny videos. I'm watching funny videos all the time, especially before sleeping. Yeah. If you like this video, like it. Descri uh, describe, I want to say describe, oh my god. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. That's really... When you subscribe, it makes me feel like, okay, there is something happening. There are people who are wanting more of this. That's basically it. If you have any questions or anything, write down in the comments below. Uh, I'll check it. I'll give you, like, answer it. If you need some, uh, some um, information, some facts or anything, write down below. Feel free. This is not uh, something... I'm more for people that are there to share, to talk, to discuss things, to find new ways, to find better solutions, to really... Um, uh, it's easy to me to say, you know, write something down below or communicate with me. I'm the person like you are. It's the same. We are the same. On the level, we are all the same. You know, we are humans and we are here to help each other, really. If you have something, whatever it is, I know it's not easy sometimes to write because you think I'm different than you because you're watching this video on YouTube. We are all the same. You are the same as I am. So, just if you have any, like that first feeling that, that, first feeling that, you, that you have, like, oh, I want to write about this. Write it. Don't think. Do it. Be more than think more, you know. So, that will be this. This already took like a bit longer than I thought, but um, I don't want to take too much time. So there we go. This is for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, have a good day. Stay well. Take care of yourself. Very important. If you're alright, everyone else will be alright. Believe me. Trust me. So see you next video. Take care.